found a way to fight back there in the third, but just uh, we we played well enough to get points out of this game. That's probably a little discouraging, um, especially the last two periods. We had a lot of chances. There, you know, I've had a front row seat of watching our goaltender get points for us, and Mike's probably he's watched his goaltender get him points, and I thought his goalie got him points tonight. Stylistically, it was a pretty entertaining game. Mm -hmm. What did you think of the pace and how these two, two teams match well, up? They're, pr they're two pretty good teams. So they, they look at the skill they have, and I mean we're not too bad ourselves. So you're gonna you're gonna have some uh, some good chances, and you know goal scorers put the puck in the net tonight. And you know it's unfortunate. And we it's tough when you're down three nothing, but you know, we have the ability to come back, and and we did. You know, it was unfortunate we gave up that fourth one, especially just kind of on a, on a nothing rush, and we allow that one to go in. And, you know, it's just it just seemed like when we broke down, it ended up in the back of that. It was just one of those nights. You capitalized on their chances, of course, but you feel a little bit encouraged. Only 23 shots on goal, or it wasn't quite as much as you've been giving up. You know, in no, recent we, games. that was a big thing for us. Is you know, we we got to defend better, and in in some areas we did. I mean, we still gave up some chances, but um, you know, I think we gave up more in the LA in the third period the other night than we did the whole night tonight. So that's, uh, that was encouraging. We, as I said, we score three goals, you got to get points in this league. But when you're giving up four, it's, uh, it's tough to get points. And unfortunately, we couldn't get, uh, we couldn't get some tonight. The, the young talent that you have on your team, I mean, it's, you know, nobody needs to go over that. But you've also coached some of the young guys over there, whether yeah. it be young guns, whether it be at the Worlds. What's it say when you look at the young talent on both of these teams about the future of the game and the state of the game? Yeah, well, it probably says that both organizations draft fairly well. Um, but the age, the youth, the exuberance, the skill now is really, it's really what's turning this league into, you know, as good as it's probably ever been. And when you're watching these, I mean, Sergachev's, what, 19? Marner is what, 20? I don't even know. What's Nylander is 20? Matthews is 20? You know, like, and those are the guys, you know, what, you know, Cooch is what, 24. He's still great here. You know, it's, uh, yeah, right? But it's, it's, a, it's become that young man's league. And, um, you know, you, you, you marvel at the skill and speed, especially a game like tonight when there's so much young talent. It's, you know, obviously going to be an entertaining game for the fans. But there are guys like Yanni Gourd who have to kind of scratch and claw and spend their time in the minors for a few years mm -hmm. before they find their way here. And the guy's got 21 goals now. Did you envision him having the impact that he's had this year? Well, we, we got a sign of it last year when we, we had all those injuries and he kind of played the last part of the year for us. But I'm not going to sit here and say you know he was going to have the impact on our team this deep into the season that he is now and he scored some goals for us last year uh, but we had a much different lineup we weren't as deep last year as we were this year and uh, for him to come in and you know, ultimately be one of our you know I want to sit here and say he's secondary secondary scoring but he's kind of you know our our main scoring you know part of what he does you know you look at the guys that scored on our team he's right up there and um, but that's what's probably helped us is to have that scoring depth. You don't have to rely all the time on, you know, the Stamkoses and the Kucherovs. You throw guys like Point in there. You throw Yanni Gord in there. Um, but he has been a pleasant surprise. There's, there's no doubt. You know, I, I look at him and you sit here and say, you know, I'm a little biased, but you're gonna do the ballots for the Rookie of the Year. Hard pressed not to have him up there on that.